Hey everyone, and welcome back. We have a ridiculous amount of cards to go over today. This is the most amount of spoilers Wizards has dumped on us in a single day. Let's get right into this. But first, just want to take a quick second. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, by all means, please do. And don't forget, punching that like button does help. Huge card also. Uh, there is a, a card that, I don't know if you want to say it's busted or broken, but it is redunculous, and we're going to get to that one in a bit here. Let's dive into it. Connive and Concoct. So on the left here, it's a sorcery. It's for four. Gain control of target creature with power two or less. Now, that doesn't seem that great at first glance, but there is a new angel in town, Aurelia. It's a 2-4, and that thing is quite nasty. This sucker can take advantage of that and uh, put it on the battlefield under our control. Pretty cool. On the right here, we have Concoct, which I think is the better of the two. It's a five-drop sorcery. Surveil three, which is already good in its own. Then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Now, that's great. You can get some huge dummy from the graveyard and put it onto the battlefield. Cool and standard, but just ridiculous in some other formats where Emrakuls exist. Find a way to just dump that in the graveyard and then slap down a Concoct. Bada bang. You just got an Emrakul for five. Uh, pretty ridiculous. So I do like this card. Can't wait to see what it can do. Next up, Parhelion Patrol is a four drop. Human Knight Flying Vigilance with the Mentor ability. Two, three. It's a common, it, it's, it's a Human Knight. It's cool it has flying though. I think that's one of the perks. If this thing sees any play outside of Limited, it'd be because of the flying ability and the Mentor, of course. Piston Fist Cyclops in the middle here. Uh, who remembers Nivik Cyclops? Looks like very similar art. I do like Wayne Reynolds' work. He's a pretty uh, talented artist. It's a three-drop Cyclops Defender as long as you've cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn. Piss and Fist Cyclops can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Uh, I think this would be great. Uh, again, unlimited. But being that it's only three toughness, uh, I mean, the other Cyclops, uh, Nivix, he had a 1-4 that defense was a bit stronger and uh, it saw quite a bit more play in fun decks not sure what this one's going to do I don't think it's going to do a whole lot though Hunted Witness, I love this card anytime uh, <clears throat> we can get an extra little token out there is really cool especially when it's like one so Hunted Witness is a one drop human when Hunted Witness dies create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token with lifelink the cool thing is it creates a 1-1 one, one with lifelink and uh, what I like is that small little creatures, they can all aid to the Convoke down the road uh, for bigger creatures to cast. But this is great just because it's a one drop. It'll see quite a bit of play. Ritual of Soot. <clears throat> Four drop. Sorcery. Destroy all creatures with converted mana cost three or less. Initially, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty decent. But, I mean, this is probably going to have to be sideboarded. I can't really see too many decks running this in the main. I could be wrong. I mean, I, I really could be. Uh, but Destroying All Creatures are Converted Mana Cost 3 or less. We've seen similar cards like this. Uh, and it, it does get play. The other one was 5, and uh, it made it so they can't regenerate on top of it. This one's alright. Uh, again, I'm, I'm just not sure uh, if you're going to want to include this in your main. It's probably, definitely going to be sideboarded. Enhanced Surveillance. Deuce Drop. Enchantment. You may look at an additional two cards each time you surveil. That's ridiculous. Exile, enhance surveillance, shuffle your graveyard into your library. Uh, for those decks with surveil, uh, this is going to be a card you're probably going to want to run up in there. So, not bad. Venerated Loxodon, five drop, good old elephant cleric. Anyone ever run an elephant tribal deck? I love to hear about that. It's a rare Convoke, again, but the Convoke mechanic does. Re, uh, your creatures can help cast a spell. Each creature you tap while casting this spell pays for one or one mana of that creature's color. When Loxodon enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature that convoked it. I think that's really, really neat, actually. And I can see this sucker getting some play because the creatures that are convoking it, usually they're going to be small little creatures, you know, your one ones or two twos, I mean, really whatever, in order to get the card out. But they're all going to get plus one, plus one counters on them. That is pretty neat. I, I do like that. Um, think about like your, your your little elves and whatnot out there. Uh, this thing's going to be aid. It's going to aid them. Uh, make them bigger. It's almost like a mentor in itself, uh, but just splashing across the board. Really, really cool. I do like this card. Knight of Autumn. This thing's kind of stupid. Uh, stupid as in good. 
It's a three drop. Dryad Knight. Rare. When Knight of Autumn enters the battlefield, choose one. Put two plus one plus one counters on Knight of Autumn. Or destroy target artifact or enchantment. Or you gain four life. Very versatile. I mean, there's so many different things they can do. Uh, especially the destroy target artifact or enchantment. I mean, the gain four life. And even if you just wanted to put two plus one plus one counters on it, if all else fails. I mean, there's just so many options with this card. I mean, I can even see this thing making its way into modern for darn sure. Uh, how strong is it going to be in standard? Probably a force to be reckoned with. I mean, there's just, there's a lot going on with this card. A plus, I like it. It's going to see a lot of play. Sweeping Giant, six drop, uncommon. Giant Soldier, Vigilance, whenever Sweeping Giant attacks, it deals one damage to each creature defending player controls. That's not bad. The only problem is it's a six drop and five five. I mean, it does have vigilance. It does have its perks. I mean, I, I can see this. And limited, this is going to be a great bomb for darn sure. This is going to see uh, play every time it, it pops up and limited. But just having that, it deals one damage to each creature defending player controls whenever it attacks. That's a really, that's really strong, uh, honestly, especially with all the token generators out there. Uh, all the cards that create tokens, and there's so many little creatures. Uh, this thing is going to be fun to play with. Uh, how much play outside of limited, of course, I'm not really sure, but uh, maybe a one of here and there, or maybe a sideboard, you know, something. But then again, there are such things as chain whirlers, so who knows. The Dev Patrol, three drop. Uh, when it attacks, you may tap any number of untapped creatures you control. Patrol gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. For each creature, tap this way. For five, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token with lifelink. Not terrible. I mean, it's okay, honestly. Uh, whenever it attacks, you may tap any number of untapped creatures you control. And it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. I just, uh, you know, I can almost like, do without that, really. Uh, but create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token for five. Yeah, it's just not going to see a whole lot of play. But definitely in limited for sure. But then again, I could be wrong. I mean, it's an elf and it's a knight. Very versatile with those two. Affectionate Indrik. What is up with the artwork on this card? <laughs> I mean, it, this artwork almost doesn't even fit uh, in this uh, set. Uh, I'm confused. Please, by all means, let me know your thoughts on that. It's a six drop. When Affectionate Indrik enters the battlefield, you may have it fight target creature you don't control. It's 4-4. Four, four. Pretty cool. It's a beast. Uh, beast uh, was actually the first deck I ever built in Magic, so that's kind of neat. The problem isn't the Indrik's enthusiasm. It's Ravnica's lack of card rails. <laughs> That's fun little flavor text. Uh, it's an okay card. It's, I, don't, I don't know. It's not even okay. It's, 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 it's decent. It's something. Uh, at least when it comes out, you know, it can fight something. Book Devourer. Cool card. Six drop. Beast Trample. Whenever Book Devourer deals combat damage to a player, you may discard all the cards in your hand. If you do, draw that many cards. For having Trample, that's cool on its own. Four or five. Uh, this is going to see, uh, it's going to find its way in some decks. I'm not exactly sure the best way to use this card, um, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not really sure what else to say on this one. Guys, let me know your thoughts. I think it's cool you can discard all the cards in your hand uh, and then draw that many cards. So, uh, again, with all the grave interaction, there's a lot of cards out there that allow us to bring things back from the graveyard. So, there's that. Conclave Cavalry, another one of these... Uh, Deuce and Deuce uh, for Centaur Knight. It's got Vigilance. It's a 4-4. When Conclave Cavalry dies, create two 2-2 two, two green and white Elf Knight creature tokens with Vigilance. I think it's a fair card. Uh, I, I think, uh, yeah, I think it's a fair card. I could see it seeing some play. I really like these cards that have the old, uh, the old Deuce and Deuce in, in color combination. I think that's pretty neat. Swift Blade Vindicator. Now, this thing I really like. Uh, I really, really like it, especially with decks that I like to build, where, uh, well, not decks I like to build, but a lot of us like to build them. Um, the old aura, you know, equipment kind of decks. This thing, it only costs two. It has a double strike, vigilance, and the kicker for me was trample here. But also vigilance. I mean, you get the right auras and equipment on this thing. It's going to be insane. I mean, it really will be. You can even give this thing lifelink. You can pump it up, um, you know, from a 3-3 three, three to a 6-6. Six, six. I mean, just really quick, you can advance this sucker. Uh, you just got to find a way to protect it, really. 
Um, if, if we get some more protect, uh, protection cards out there, I think that'd be cool. But it's definitely going to need to be protected. Otherwise, it's just going to be a big old flop. But I can see a lot of fun with this. Detour, four drop. Search your library for up to two basic lands or gates and put them out of the battlefield. They enter the battlefield tapped. Yeah, uh, definitely going to make its way into some decks. Uh, just another way to get some more lands out there. And uh, it does say put them onto the battlefield uh, on the end of the battlefield tapped. That's the downside. Sorry, guys. Yeah, they come in tapped. If this, if they had it where this entered the battlefield, this card would be pretty ridiculous, uh, and it would see its uh, way into many decks. But, yeah, it's another way to ramp. It's not bad. Tristani Discordant, 5-drop. I've heard some mixed reviews on this card. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Again, it's a legendary mythic. When Tristani Discordant enters a battlefield, create two 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens with lifelink. At the beginning of your end step, each player gains control of all creatures they own. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what to make of this. I, I, I think maybe I, I don't know. Commander, maybe. I mean, I'm not really sure how much it's going to see in standard. I don't think it's going to see a lot of play in standard. But then again, there was that one angel. Um, can't think off the top of my head, but it, it just it's getting rotated out as we speak, basically. Uh, I think actually I might have a copy of it sitting here on my good old desk. Uh, Angel of Invention. Very, It's very similar to that. I mean, of course, it's not flying with Vigilance and Lifelink, but uh, able to create some Lifelink uh, tokens there. And the plus one, plus ones. It's a 1-4, so it's not terribly easily removed. It'll. Uh, it's going to see standard play. I just don't think a lot. I mean, I could be mistaken. I, I could be mistaken. This might be a card that, I wouldn't say it's a sleeper, but... It's something. This is another card I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on. Blood Operative. Cool, fun little card here. It's a three-drop Vampire Assassin. It's got Lifelink, which already I am a fan of. When Blood Operative enters the battlefield, you may exile a target card from a graveyard. Whenever you surveil, if Blood Operative is in your graveyard, you may pay three life. If you do, return Blood Operative to your, to your hand. So if you were to surveil this, um, it's essentially like drawing a, a card draw. You just pay three life, and bam, this thing comes right back into your hand. Not bad at all. Uh, being that it's a vampire, I like. I just like the name Assassin. Anyone else? Um, but being that it's a vampire, uh, I'm curious to see what kind of builds, uh, if vampires are going to be a thing again. I mean, this... Uh, I Probably not. Although there are some nice vampire decks out there. I did put together a couple vampire decks in standard that... Uh, had some fun for extreme budget. Uh, <laughs> you got to check those decks out, but that's a, another topic. Uh, Blood Operative, yeah, good card. I, I, I think it's going to be fun. Uh, disinformation Campaign, three drop enchantment. When Disinformation Campaign enters the battlefield, you draw a card, and each opponent discards a card. Whenever you surveil, return Disinformation cap Campaign to its owner's hand. That's not bad. <laughs> you can get rid of some stuff uh, or get rid of some cards in your opponent's hand and uh, gain card draw ability. Yeah, uh, I'm all for it. Cool card. Knight of Autumn. Looks like we went already over this one. My bad. It's just that good. We had to show a picture of it one more time. Glaive of the Guild Pack. Deuce drop. Gotta love dropping deuces, guys. Artifact equipment. We haven't seen a lot of auras or equipment. I think we're going to see them in the last half here. I even heard a few of you in the comments section, where's all the auras? Where's all the equipment? Well, here's one for starters. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus zero for each gate you control and has vigilance and menace. Equipped for three. Not bad. Uh, definitely limited, for sure. Uh, yeah, I like the card. Uh, it's it's the first thing we, it's the first, uh, I think, equipment we've seen so far. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah. So I'm just happy we have something uh, with equipments and auras. Apex of Power. Omnispell Adept. Time Stretch. What is going on here? Let me go over Omnispell Adept. This, this thing is, is the dumb card we were speaking of. First time this, is, I think, has ever been printed on a card. It's a 5-drop. Human Wizard. I like that it's a 3-4. It already makes it a little more difficult to remove from those lightning strikes and bolts and all that. For three, tap, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your hand without paying its mana cost. Wizards, have you lost your mind? How did this thing get onto a card? Now, yeah, it is five to cast. That is kind of a setback, but when you think about it, 
let's just take a look over into modern. We see time stretch on the right here. Uh, it costs 10. It's a sorcery. Target player takes two extra turns after this one. Yeah, it doesn't cost 10 anymore. It's going to cost three. Huh? Uh, Apex of power. It, it, it originally cost 10, but with the value of Omni Spell Adept, it now drops it just to three. And then from that point, exile the top seven cards of your library until end of turn. You may cast an like, I mean, This is silly. All right, this is really silly. This card, is it broken? Is it busted? I don't know. How powerful and standard will it be? That's another good question. I'm excited to see what kind of decks everyone comes up with. I'm excited to see what kind of deck I'm going to come up with. Well, that was definitely got to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. Uh, is it busted? Should they have printed this? I think it's just out of control. Uh, just for three, there's a whole slew of instants and sorceries that cost a ridiculous amount to cast. And this thing's going to pay off for three to cast them. Ridiculous. Watcher in the Mist, five drop, three, four, flying one. Watcher in the Mist enters the battlefield, surveil two. My question is, I think it's like a skeleton. It looks like a skeleton. It's not really so much a spirit. I think Wizards messed that one up. That's uh, that's a skeleton, I think. Yeah. Uh, when Watcher in the Mist enters the battlefield, surveil two. Not bad. Definitely going to see uh, limited play. It's a flyer, though, three, four, of course. Creeping Chill, 4-drop. Creeping Chill deals 3 damage to each opponent. And you gain 3 life. When Creeping Chill is put into your graveyard from your library, you may exile it. If you do, Creeping Chill deals 3 damage to each opponent, and you gain 3 life to each opponent, and you gain 3 life. Not a bad card, honestly. I mean, that's 6 damage overall. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, if you can do it correctly. <laughs> But yeah, uh, fun card. Can't wait to see some interactions with it. The Dev Guardian, maximum velocity, and locks it on restore. A bunch of comments here. Four drop, convoke. Your creatures can help cast it. It's a two four. Uh, what, what do I want a two four out for? I'm just saying. I mean, it really has a lot of abilities, and it costs four to cast and uh, blows this thing out the water. There's no need for this human knight. I'm just saying, but. I guess you could get it out really early, but then it's only a 2-4. No thanks. Maximum velocity, 1 drop. Target creature gains plus 1, plus 1, and it's haze until end of turn. It's got the jumpstart mechanic. Yeah, you'll see this used a little bit. Locks it on restore, 6 drop. With convoke, 3-4. Uh, when it locks it on restore, enters the battlefield, you gain 4 life. I mean, that's something. Uh, anytime you can gain life, really, it, it, it helps out. Uh, but again, these commons, um, not a whole lot of them see much play, but I mean, maximum velocity probably will, uh, have the best go out of these three. Uh, Dimer Spy Bug, two drop, interesting artwork. I do like that. Anything with lightning going through it or plasma, whatever that is. Uh, I like flying in menace one, one, whenever you surveil, put a plus one, plus one counter and Dimer Spy Bug. This is going to be one of those fun cards that we can get bigger and bigger and bigger. Plus with the menace and it's a flyer. Things can get ugly quickly with this, guys. Watch out. Last but not least, a lot less giant. Seven drop. Love the artwork. Undergrowth. When a lot less giant enters a battlefield, it deals one damage to target opponent for each creature card in your graveyard. So you're telling me Dredge has a win con outside of combat phase is what we're going at here. That's what it sounds like. Uh, pretty cool. I like this card. I like that uh, we've seen other cards similar um, in the past. When there's a battlefield, it deals one damage to target opponent for each creature card in your graveyard. I like it. It's a big 6-5, too. Steep casting cost of 7, but still really neat fun card. Uh, that about wraps it up, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts. What was your favorite? If I say thought again, let me know. Uh, I, I appreciate you guys tuning in. And Again, make sure you subscribe. Uh, and always, PLA.